Hello, Greggy. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm in my hammock where it's nice and breezy. <laughs> where are you in the hammock? I'm in Bar Harbor. I'm here too. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Where did you come from? I live in Hampstead, Maryland. Yeah? And I drove to Boston, Massachusetts for a couple of months. And then we drove here. How long did it take you? To go where? Anywhere. A long time. <laughs> Everything for a long, long time. Two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> well, it took us 12 hours to go from Hampstead, Maryland to Boston. Because traffic was so bad, it's only supposed to take six. And we got a cab, and the cabbie suggested to take Route 1 to Maine. So we did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although it was scenic. And it was neat to see all the little towns. There were slow goings. <laughs> Another six hours. Hello, Greggy. Hi, Shorty. How are you? Okay. What did you do this weekend? Well, first night was a bit of an adventure. Yeah? Yeah, we set off for Boston about 10 in the morning. And we went to Paul and Susan's to pick up their fancy camera. This and camera? Yeah, and walk their dog. <laughs> <laughs> then we went and had our rings checked in, the mo in uh, Towson. And off we went on 95. And you'd expect on 95 you could go almost 95. But no. Traffic was horrible. Bumper to bumper. Through Delaware. In New Jersey, and s except for the turnpike. Through... Where did we go next? New York. Yikes. Then... I think it was Connecticut. Next. I think so. And until we got off of 95, it was bumper to bumper. You hardly ever got out of third gear. So it took us 12 hours, like you said before, instead of six. And then we finally got to Boston, but the directions we had were terrible. And Boston is the craziest city you'd ever want to go to when it comes to driving. And we got lost. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> so, we drove around for a while and stopped at some sketchy gas station. And the gas attendant guy said, Just drive to the fleet center. <laughs> Stay in the right hand lane, which really didn't work. And then we got lost again and decided to call the hotel. And the lady there gave us good directions and we made it. And then we went up to the room, threw our stuff in, decided to go out and find some food, never to drive again. So we walked down the streets, and there wasn't much right around the hotel, and by the time we found restaurants, it was midnight and everything was closed. So, food was not looking good, and we were starving to death, and being a little emotional, I got really sad. And I had to cry because I was so frustrated <laughs> and starving. So we found a shell station and we thought maybe we can get some milk for cereal. And they didn't have milk. So we bought a big muffin and a juice. <laughs> and we ate it like animals walking down the street. And then we got back to the hotel and the hotel didn't have... Um, a restaurant or anything, even though it was pretty fancy. So we found this little convenience shop, and sure enough, they had some 
micro magic cheeseburgers. And Greg was so hungry for some meat he couldn't resist. <laughs> so we bought them for five fifty a piece and had eleven dollar microwave cheeseburgers and blueberry muffins for dinner. Our first night. Ugh, they were terrible. <laughs> Okay. Say so everybody your toesies. I got away. <laughs> Signing off. Here we are, folks. Steak! <laughs> this is good stuff. You need to take a step back. I'm not here? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm positive. <laughs> You're still going on the outside of it. <laughs> Come on, I'll zoom in on the ball. <laughs> Step back. <laughs> Stop aiming for it, because you're missing it. You're going outside every time. This is strike 15, folks. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be here all night. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, oh, that's a good one. Oh, my. Oh, there's a whole bunch of those in here. Handmade contact. Good job. <laughs> Oopsies. Echo, there it is. That's my practice swing. I don't know where it went. <laughs> I can't see it with this thing. Okay, here we go, folks. Ball number three. One of them out there. <laughs> Maybe I should send this to Western Maryland. Good practice swing.
<laughs> You're doing good. All right. Look at this one, folks. <laughs> hey, I get my money worth. Sure do. Good thing this thing can pay on time. Huh? Good thing we don't pay for the amount of time. Ha ha ha! Weapon. What are you made for the camera? <laughs> he just dribbled one down left field over here a minute ago. <laughs> Don't forget my miss. <laughs> oh yeah, we missed a good miss. <laughs> <laughs> Do something good for us, honey. Good and funny. <laughs> hey, Greg, tell them why we're here. Clearly it's only making it worse. <laughs> sitting here watching her and I uh, forgot to hit the record button. <laughs> and they were good ones too. About 250 yards. Sorry. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, not even a hundred feet, hundred yards. Oh, it's foggy as all heck. What? <laughs> the screen was all foggy. I mean, blurry. I mean, I didn't see nothing. Good job, love. It's really hard to see in this thing.
in. <laughs> Hi, Greggy. Hello. What's wrong, Greggy? Welcome to Bahaba. <laughs> My name's Phil. I'm the innkeeper. <laughs> this is the inn. Outside here is the out. <laughs> Back to you, Phil. Here's the key to the inn. The out doesn't have a key. <laughs> it's free to the public. <laughs> We're really tired. Tired of trying to get to go on the whale watch and getting cancelled. <laughs> Nice. Thank you. Come along with me, I'll give you a tour of the inn. Specifically the pond cottage. I don't know where to start again. As you can see here is where you should start. As you can see here, the pond cottage. Okay. Here is Shorty. Shorty is in. This is the living room of the pine cottage. There's a TV over here. Check out this box. Check out this cable box. <laughs> I've never seen such a thing. <laughs> but it works. Off to the bedroom. Here it is. Kind of dark. There we go. It's got a bed. And a closet. Off to the bathroom. Here it is. It's a toilet. Nothing major. Just the bathroom. And the world's smallest shower. Oh, dearie. Let me turn on some light here. No, the light blew out. <laughs> <laughs> Off to the second bedroom. Two beds here. We use it for a closet. <laughs> Tell them how it got here. When we came, all the windows were open and it had rained all day. And it had rained in the cottage. <laughs> Shorty was miserable. It was musty and stinky. And damp. This is Moosey. Hello, hey, Moosey. <laughs> Moosey looks really dark. Come out in the light, Moosey. <laughs> where we can see you. Hello, Moosey. Hello. Good day. Here, let's give him out time. The only other thing to show you about the inn is the out. It has its own hammock. Its own hammock at the inn. It's a nice little area for sitting. Do you have the key? I have the key to the inn. It's time for tea and lemonade. Oh, tea and lemonade. After you, love. After me. Whoa. See you soon. Here's the entrance to our little place. There's the neighbors. And here's the rest of the house. The back of it anyway. There's the door where we go up for breakfast. Here's and afternoon tea. <laughs> and afternoon tea. Here's the yard and the parking lot and the side street. And oops. There's Greggy's truck. Here's the side of the house, and there's where we have our meals, or our breakfast. And here's the front, 
across the street. There's the sign. Looks like we got vacancy again. This is the front of the place. Front porch. God bless America. Let's go in. <laughs> 